Chico State, like many college campuses, are really challenged with resources. Uh, we have resources with regard to budget, but we also have resources with regard to space. We have a number of large multi-section classes that we are required and, and, if not required, wanting to deliver to students. And we want to make sure that we maintain integrity and quality of the education and the content delivery for students. But to do so really does require innovation. To look at courses that might benefit from being transformed with three different points in mind. One, um, one being that we want to engage students more, if possible. Um, a second point would be that we're trying to save money in how we redesign such that maybe courses that have multiple sections could be taught uh, in a standard way so that the preparation for those courses is, is built on a, a template or a master so that uh, if there's a 20 section course they're, they're all coming from the same master course. There's a third reason for us to transform courses and that is replicability. We want to be able to create some models that can be used not only within the same department or college but maybe across campus. So if we come up with some new models that are transforming the way we're teaching and the way students are learning, then that might benefit our entire campus. So we're looking for courses that really demonstrate the best practices. In my discussions with the provost and what the provost has said and, and what all the deans are on board with is that any attempt to do this has to be, uh, has to be in light of student learning. And so that it's not the use of technology for technology's sake, but the use of technology to be more efficient in providing um, learning opportunities for students, yes. But in such a way that student learning is at least equivalent to traditional modes of teaching and ideally enhanced. Academy e-learning, we started last year, so it's one year old. Uh, it's patterned after the National Center for Academic Transformation with the idea that we would uh, engage in course redesign. So it is uh, an opportunity to bring faculty teams together to look at how course content is delivered and really examine the effectiveness of that and look for innovations. And I, I, right now I think it's highly successful and we're moving in the right direction. The National Center for Academic Transformation has come up with six models. Each have a poster in the Technology and Learning Program faculty lab that you could check out or you could go online to the, to the website. Um, range from changing a little bit of the way a course is taught to changing it very comprehensively from face to face maybe to all online, um, maybe to replace some of the seat time with uh, um, a lab time. There's, there's different ways that courses can be looked at, broken down, maybe re-put back together that could be transformed, but based on some really sound principles. As part of the um, toolbox of teaching tools that a, that a faculty person might use. Um, and so the Academy eLearning is in part helping faculty learn about what those tools are. And there are um, experts on campus in TLPs, for example, who, uh, who know about technology and about education that can help faculty think differently about their courses. have to be interested in improving your pedagogy and you certainly have to have a, a very strong interest in improving student learning and student engagement and be open-minded and willing to try new things, bust out of the box. But in addition to that, we're moving into a situation where if we are engaging in large multi-class, um, multi-section courses where uh, we have to get rid of individualism, we have to really I think break I the isolation associated with instruction. Uh, put uh, egos aside, put uh, the idea of protecting your turf aside and really come with a willingness to, um, to collaborate and to innovate and to not only step out of your comfort zone but perhaps even do so in a way that creates more interdisciplinary experience for our students. Foremost thing to consider is that you have the support of your department, uh, your department chair, and the Dean. Maybe talk to some of the folks that have just gone through this process and I think you'll find that um, there's some lessons to be learned from who's gone before you and um, no idea is out of the box. This is going to require a commitment on the faculty person's part and so they need to be motivated to do this 
And in my opinion, um, whatever classes are being targeted for transformation, it, it needs to have the, the philosophical and emotional commitment by the faculty person, him or herself. And there's an upfront cost in terms of time. It takes some time to get th things going. It took a lot of time to get my lectures going, but once I got things going, now I can tweak, now I can update. So there's gonna be some upfront time, there is. The website will be publicized very, very soon, uh, certainly in December of 2009, and the applications will be available from that website. We are asking for applications to go out before the end of this fall semester and to come back by February the 1st. Now, they, what they um, will ask is that the applications go first to your department chair, and if the chair has multiple applications, then they're going to forward the best to their dean, and the dean will be forwarding those to CAD, to the, um, the director's um, group. And from there, the deans will be making the selection of which ones will go into the next academy.